Why don't you show everyone how we found this thing? Yes. Okay. You gotta watch for rattlesnakes, wild Hogs. pigs. We actually went hunting last night. I could get largest bass <laughs> with this thing. There better be a quantity category in this tournament. I got caught on my one rooster tail in one of these trees, lost the whole rig. Holy oh, cow! Yeah. Like an eight pounder! Oh, yeah. Let's go see if we won anything. Welcome to Texas. We are here for the Hunt Fish Podcast Summit. We're in Santa Ana, Texas. Santa Ana, Texas at the Warren Ranch. So we've been fishing between our podcasts. So yesterday morning, we did some fishing, just the two of us on a little pond we found on the ranch. And today, we are fishing an in-house tournament. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bounce back to yesterday's fishing, and then we're gonna come and check out the tournament that's about to happen right now. My name's Amanda, Emily's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. This video is brought to you by Penn Fishing. You guys may have remembered in the last episode we were fishing a pond. Now Amanda, why don't you show everyone how we found this thing? Yes, okay. So kind of, um, that's our rental car yes. over there. It's kind of like the sun's hitting it really hard. So I'm gonna turn to the right and basically we're kind of like in the middle of nowhere on a dirt road. We use our Google Maps satellite, satellite images, images to find this area. Yes. And there's a pond up over this hill. There are some people doing podcasts right now, but we have some We have time some downtime before between podcasts. Between podcasts. So Derek York from Impact Outdoors, one of the hosts of this event, told us, go to one of the ponds and go fishing. So here we are. I think we're going to do a little hike. Yes, we even brought uh, yes. our Gale Force rods our pen reels because we can't go anywhere without our gear because we love it so much. Yep, and you got a backpack, we brought our own tackle. I got a backpack, got my own tackle. So let's let's walk, let's, let's show you guys this pond. You ready, Amanda? Yep. All right, up over the hill. Start hiking. It's not really a hike, we're exaggerating. But it is, definitely gotta watch your footing. You gotta watch for rattlesnakes and we gotta watch for wild Hogs. pigs. Pigs, yep, pigs. we told there are pigs around, so be careful. Yes. We've actually seen some of their hoof prints, not here, but earlier we had. Yes. Did. So and we have boots on, but they are just rubber boots, so I don't, I don't think that's gonna stop a rattlesnake. Now, last time we were here, we saw some frogs, small frogs, baby frogs. So I might put a frog on. Yeah, it's a good idea. Emily is going to definitely give it a go on the rooster Yeah, if tail, you guys though. have been watching, I haven't been catching much. I'd like to catch a few more fish, so I think I'm gonna stick to the rooster tail, which we were using earlier. So Emily's gonna go start with that rooster tail. I'm gonna probably maybe put a frog on and maybe we can catch something. All right guys, let's catch some fish. I've got the rooster tail on, doing a nice slow retrieve. The only thing that we forgot, Amanda. Oh, there's a turtle. Do you guys see that little bubble? That's a turtle. Um, there was a beaver in the other pond, which I didn't see, but I heard there was a beaver. <gasps> yeah! I'm on, Amanda. <laughs> it was so fast. Fish on. We have a green sunfish. This guy is much bigger than my last one. So the only downside is that we're fishing with this rooster tail, which has a treble hook. And we, the one thing we forgot, we brought our own tackle, we brought our own scissors, braid scissors, and rods and reels, but we did not bring pliers. So this will be interesting. All right, I got the hook out. It's muddy, gotta be careful. Let this guy go and swim away. There he goes. Okay, next fish. Oh, I had a bite. Missed him. I caught salad. We're on. We're on. Nice. With it is a green sunfish. These guys are so pretty. They remind me of our snapper back home. I mean, they have those sharp, sharp spines, first of all. 
And this beautiful, beautiful green color. Let's get this treble hook out. Hopefully it's not in there too bad. All right. There you go, guys. Look at this beautiful little fish. I love that blue line under his eyes, that turquoise green. We got these stripes, kind of like our lane snappers back home where they have those horizontal stripes. They got the dot, like our pinfish, the spines. They're kind of like a grunt slash snapper slash pinfish. Freshwater version. At least that's what I like to think. Send him home. Oh my goodness, I'm sinking into the mud. All right, little guy, I can't get you too far out there. There he goes and swims away. Let's catch another one, guys. Amanda's got the drone flying. Amanda's over there, she's a little drone pilot. Yeah, you hear um, the buzzing. You hear the buzzing, you're gonna have to excuse that. Gotta get the shot. Yeah, gotta get the angles, gotta get the cool layout of the land of this ranch that we're on. Oh, oh, oh. I had a bite. Dang it, Just cast again, bring it in. And cast again. And I will show you guys packaging of this rooster tail if anybody wants to get one for themselves. We do have one. Amanda, you box, caught, right? let's have a picture pop up. You caught that peacock bass on a rooster tail. I did. She did. Yes. So fun fact, Honestly, Amanda's first. If I have a favorite lure artificial it's this one, right now. It's this one. It's, our, it's this, this it's thing's rooster awesome. tail. I don't know, we catch everything on it. I mean, even big and the peacock peacocks. was nice, but it it's nice because one. you can catch big fish on it. But I feel like you can also catch right. Like if you're going for the goal of just catching fish and you don't care how big they are, but we you know big peacocks on it. Yes, we caught big ones. And it's in a pond like this where maybe there aren't big fish, we can still catch the small sunfish. Oh, oh, that's the only problem. Okay, so the only thing about this is if you reel too slow, it starts to sink too deep, and then you get caught in the muck. That's true. But you don't want to reel. I mean, you could reel fast, but we've been finding like a nice slow retrieve just not too slow to where it sinks. Yeah! yeah. We did it! Oh, is it? Oh, is, is that, that the bluegill? Blue Let's see, I think we got different species. Nice. nice! This thing's big. All right, guys, I thought it was a bluegill for a second. We've just got a very large sunfish. They look so different when they get bigger. Isn't that crazy how small fish, like juveniles of what same species look different as full grown? So cool. Here is the rooster tail that I was using. I picked the brown colored one. We also have a really light, bright, almost like peacock bass colored one, but I feel like this is better for these waters, personally, because there's, there's no peacock bass here, guys. All right, we have... Wait, 15 pound fluoro 15 leader. 15 pound fluoro, correct. On and the 20 pound braid. Uh, yep, and then we're fishing on our... Our Gale, Gale Force, Force bass, bass rod. All-purpose spinning bass rod, slash sunfish rod, whatever freshwater rod that you need. And we're super excited, guys, because you, if you watch any of our videos, you will see we fish with pen reels, and that is by choice. But we're super excited that we are now in partnership with pen reels. Yes! So it's, yeah, yay, it's super excited. The reel I have is the Pen Fierce 2500. I absolutely love this reel because it's red, it matches the Gale Force colors, but it's perfect. Love the size. This is actually one of the reels we've had for quite a while that we've been fishing with, and we have had zero problems with it. It is doing amazing, and we absolutely love it. So we're super excited to be officially in partnership with Pen Reels. I will link this reel in the description box if you guys are interested. And then I also just want to show you the colorful. Let me see if I can too. look at this one. I don't know about you guys, but that thing is like a baby peacock bass, isn't it? Not? It looks it's got the so green good. And orange, and then we have our or nice colored brown one. Alrighty guys, we have switched gears. After that last sunfish, we did some more podcasts. We actually went hunting last night. It's a new day. That's Emily walking up there in the red shirt. It's a new day and we are actually about to fish a little tournament from with everybody from the Fish Hunt Podcast Summit. They're all around the lake. This is the lake we're fishing on. Not sure if we'll even get a bass because we have yet to catch one, but we're supposed to keep track of everything we catch because there's a bunch of awards to give. Oh, I'm on! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, it's a bigger fish! Oh, it's so hooked it! It's my first bass of the trip! 
Yes! You got your first Texas bass. My first Texas largemouth bass ever. Guys. On the rooster tail. And it's during the tournament. And I think I caught the first bass of the tournament. No so way. if nobody else catches one, because the bass play's been really slow, I could get largest bass. <laughs> this thing, so cute. Love it. We're supposed to take pictures of our fish. All right, We're here. supposed to be accurate pictures. So I'm like, so no, no stiff no arming. No stiff arm, no long arming. No long arming. So just like, this, right. does this look realistic? Um, put it, yeah, that looks realistic. All right. Cute. All right, now let's, let's push him out, push him out. Long arm time. Yeah, there we go. Gonna go ahead, give this guy a release and keep fishing. I caught this guy on the same rooster tail I've been catching everything on. You ready? It's I'm ready, Amanda. I can't really, uh. Don't slip and fall. I'm gonna slip and fall, so I'm probably just gonna toss him. All right? Give him a little toss. There he goes. There he goes. Oh. Come on. Come on. It's another large row. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Whoa. This guy's skinny. The large mouth bite is on. Just caught another number one. two. Number two on the rooster tail. The we don't even know what the categories are. Categories are and the prizes are. And obviously it's a very informal tournament. We're just taking pictures of our fish, and a photographer is going to judge our fish because they know <laughs> what the long arm special looks like. The long arm special. So, fish number two that was super fast, and I just took a selfie with mine this time. Let's take one more. There we go. Nice fish. All right, let's do a release. This tournament's working. Emily, why aren't you catching anything? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't want to switch to the rooster tail yet because I still want to try and get the big one. Keep going for the big because one. Because you're going for I'm quantity, quantity, I'm going for you quality. Go for quality. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> fish number three. Amanda just got fish number three on. I haven't even had a chance to walk back to my rod and cast out. This is happening. You're definitely making me question so my fast. choice. This is, I think, the smallest guy. Emily, if you wanted to switch to a rooster tail, you could. I could. Keep going, but I got the quantity going. I know, Stay I know. Keep, keep with the quantity, Amanda. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Nice fish. Number four, we're going back to back to back. I was literally, I was like, I'm just gonna do one more cast on these rocks and I think I'm gonna move up to a different spot. Never mind. Biggest rule of thumb in fishing. You never leave fish to find fish. Here we are. Is this one bigger than my first one? It's definitely bigger than the last one. It's close to the size of the first one for sure. Definitely. If I go on the rocks, I can do it from here. Just need him to wake up. Come on, buddy. Keep his head under, oh, whoa, there he goes. That was a good one. Oh, come on. What? Holy oh, cow. That's like an eight pounder. Oh, Amanda, you're not winning the largest fish <laughs> division. One fish could, uh, could eat your fish. I just caught fish number five. Is this your first fish? This is my first and only fish of the whole trip on the Whopper Plopper. <gasps> wow! Um, I think you so might fun. be winning biggest bass. Yeah, we're gonna. Are we weighing these fish? Or? They said yeah. we're taking pictures. pictures? Okay. But right. I'll get some pictures for you yeah, too. That's a, that's a pick of a bass. <laughs> that's incredible. Oh my that, gosh! That a wow. Female, or? I feel like I should congratulate you, but <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That's Amazing. Way back in the creek. All right, that's Amanda, you're on number five. Number five. Yeah. Very small. You got me on the on the quantity. <laughs> the quality. Awesome. <laughs> Releasing. Wow, beautiful, oh. awesome fish. Oh my fish. gosh. Wakey, wakey, little, little guy. <laughs> Stay away from that salt. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Heck yeah. Fish number six, I caught a red ear sunfish. And the reason it's called that is if you look closely, you see the black dot behind the eyes. You can see the red, orange, amber color behind the black spot behind the eye. And that's what makes these guys a red ear sunfish. Okay, I think for this release, because I'm in the muddy area, and I don't want to sink, we're gonna have to do a toss. There he goes. <laughs> This is insane. 
fish number seven and it's a bluegill. Maybe I'll win most species. I mean, I don't, we don't know what awards there are, but I think I'm gonna win yeah. something. But seriously, Amanda, you're catching so many. I haven't even been able to put the camera down. Nope, she hasn't, I gotta go land myself something. Go, go, we gotta go. All right. I'm on. <laughs> it's a bluegill. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I lost him. Oh, wait, no, I, oh, yeah. Yep. That's another one. Oh, this is fish number nine. What? Yeah. Fish number nine for me and bass number five. I gotta literally check my camera roll and see which number this is. Releasing my little guy. There he goes. It's another bluegill. So that puts me on bluegill number three. Officially releasing fish number 10. Double digits. Here we go. I'm just gonna get my bluegill a toss and he swims away. Number seven, there better be a quantity category in this tournament. Amanda, I've caught zero. Emily has caught zero, yep. I've switched I my know. rig out three times. Yep. And I'm on zero. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I'm fishing the same areas. She even, guys, look, she even gave me the rock. I gave her the rock. She said, here, you take the rock, you fish where I've been catching all these. <gasps> It's the rooster tail. I know, but you you took the last one. I did. I took did the you last tell one them still. that you lost no, one? No. So let, let me release this guy. But what? Oh wait, no. I got to take a picture with him for the tournament. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, bass number. I took my photo with this fish sideways to remember that bass number fish number eleven and bass number seven is sideways because I don't have seven fingers on one hand. And let's go ahead and do the release. But I got caught on my one rooster tail in one of these trees. Lost the whole rig. We had a second rooster tail that I'm using, so there's none left for Emily to use now. <laughs> but at least one of us is getting the action, right? Yes, I'd rather one of us win than none of us win, so. <laughs> one of us win, then, well, we're definitely not winning biggest bass, though. No. There have been some big bass. Yeah, caught. Andrew's bass was huge. And Derek caught a really big one, too. Woo! These guys are lively. Fish number 12. And it's a bluegill. <laughs> so that makes 12 fish. I got my picture. Um, 12 fish, seven bass, four bluegill, and one red ear. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's something small though. There's a prize for numbers. I'm gonna win one of them. <laughs> put us at 13 fish, seven of I which- I wait, Amanda, thanks for saying us. Yeah, we're a team, <laughs> we're a team. That's gonna put us at 13 fish, seven of which were bass. Apparently there is a numbers category. Hopefully the numbers is for total fish and not bass because somebody I think did catch quite a few bass. Definitely not winning largest bass. Ooh, someone's on. Oh, there we go. They got a nice little bass there. It's three o'clock already, so it was only a two hour tournament, one to three. 13 fish in two hours. Let's go see if we won anything. It turns out there was no quantity category <laughs> in the awards. There were a couple categories, including largest bass, largest panfish, I think. There was a trash fish category, and one other one, I don't remember all of them. Unfortunately, I did not win any of the awards, but hey, I fished in my first bass fishing tournament. I fished, we both fished. Thanks, Amanda. In our first bass fishing tournament, even though it was an in-house tournament. We hope you guys enjoyed watching these Texas videos. We're gonna go ahead and be linking the podcasts that we were on in the description box. So if you do wanna listen to them, learn a little bit more about us, what's going on, and these podcasts that we've had with some great people, go ahead and click on them. In the meantime, we want you to get out there, have fun, and stay safe.